The fraction splat question that I'll answer today is this one. The total is seven, so I'll mark that in the corner and then splat. The question is, what is the value under the splat? How do you know? And the most important question, how else could you know? In this video, I'll solve this question eight different ways. Hi friends, these are my eight answers to a fraction splat question. In an earlier video, I shared several ways to think about a whole number splat, but today we're going to take a close look at a fraction splat. And this is the question we'll examine. I recommend pausing the video and solving the question before you see the eight answers that I'll share. Of course, there are far more than just eight ways to solve this, but these eight solutions will provide a range of ways your students might approach a fraction splat. Don't forget, you can download more than 100 splats from my blog, as well as estimates and many other resources. Just click on the links below. Let's begin with solution number one, which focuses on counting. As I look at the shapes outside the splat, I see whole circles, and I see other images that each represent one-fourth. To begin the first strategy, I'm going to think of four-fourths as one whole. I'll show you what I mean. Four-fourths is equal to one whole. Since the total is seven, and because I can see three and one-fourth, I'll count up from three and one-fourth to seven. I can see three and one-fourth. Here is four and one-fourth five and one-fourth, six and one-fourth, seven and one-fourth. Of course, seven and one-fourth is too much because the total is only seven. Since I counted as seven and one-fourth, I need to subtract one-fourth. So I'll think of this one whole as four-fourths, and then I'll subtract one-fourth. At the moment, the total is seven and one-fourth. So when I subtract one-fourth like this, now the total is seven and I can see the answer inside the splat. The answer is three and three-fourths. Solution number two is a strategy that creates a whole number before counting. This begins with the question, if I can see one-fourth and the answer is a whole number, how many fourths are there that I can't see? And how many more fourths do I need to make one whole? So I'm going to begin by thinking of fourths. Looking at the red, I can see one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. Altogether, that's one whole. So I know there are three-fourths inside the splat. Now from one, I'll count on to seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The total inside the splat is three and three-fourths. Solution number three also uses a counting strategy, but instead of counting forward, the strategy is to count back. Since I know the total is seven, and because I can see part of the seven, I'll count back from seven. Six, five, four. From four, I need to subtract one-fourth. Four minus one-fourth is three and three-fourths, and that is the answer. Solution number four uses a combination of addition and subtraction with a focus on whole numbers. So another approach is to focus on whole numbers. Again, it helps to think of four-fourths as one whole. Now I can see three whole outside the splat, but there is also one-fourth. I can make this much easier to think about if I move the one-fourth inside the splat, like this. Now I know that the total in the splat is four because three plus four is equal to seven. So the total inside this splat is four, but I still need to bring the one-fourth back out. When I take the one-fourth back out, that's like subtracting one-fourth from four, and I can work out that the total under the splat is three and three-fourths. One quick note about this strategy, another way to use it, instead of sliding the one-fourth inside the splat is to extend the splat so it stretches around the one-fourth. That also helps me to know that, for the moment, the total inside the splat is four. Then I can take the one-fourth out of the splat to find the total. Solution number five also focuses on whole numbers, but instead of moving fractions into the splat, it utilizes moving fraction pieces out of the splat to create whole numbers. Another way to work with whole numbers is to think about taking force out of the splat. On the top there is one-fourth that is not part of a whole that we can see. 
Since seven is a whole number, I know that there must be more force under the splat. So I'll mentally move some force until I reach a whole number. Right now I can see one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and that makes another whole. The total outside the splat is four. So I know that at the moment, the total inside the splat is three. So knowing that the splat is covering three, I'll return the three fourths that I moved. Three plus the three fourths that I moved is three and three fourths. And that is the answer, three and three fourths. Solution number six moves away from focusing on whole numbers. Instead, it focuses on the total number of force. Another way to begin is to think of seven as force. So I can ask the question, seven is equal to how many force? And I know that seven is equal to 28 force. So I'll begin from there. When I see the seven and the mixture of whole circles and one force, I can decide to think about the total of seven in terms of force. 7 is equal to 28 force, and I can see several force. I'll count the number of force I can see. I can see 4 force, 8 force, 9 force, 10 fourths, 11 force, 12 force, 13 force. I can see 13 force, and I know the total is 28 force, so there are 15 fourths that I can't see, and that is the answer. The total under the splat is 15 fourths. Solution number seven is to combine strategies. Sometimes it makes a lot of sense to begin with one strategy and then partway through to switch to a new strategy. I'll do that here. I'll begin by subtracting the two whole circles from seven. From seven, I'll subtract one, two, and the total is now five. Now I'll use the concept of one fourth to ask five is equal to how many fourths? I know that five is equal to 20 fourths. So I need to find 20 fourths and I can see some of them. The number of fourths that I can see is one, two, three, four, five. I can see five of the 20 fourths. That means that there are 15 fourths that I can't see. The answer is 15 fourths. Solution number eight is to think about two equal groups. If you look closely, you'll see that there are two groups. There is one group inside the splat and another group outside the splat. That helps me to think about breaking seven into two equal groups. If I do that, each group will be equal to one half of seven. I know that half of seven is three and one half. So I'm going to use three and one half as a reference. Outside the splat, I can see one, two, three, and one fourth. That's nearly three and one half. To make it three and one half, I would need one more fourth to be outside the splat. So for just a moment, I'm going to take one fourth from the splat. Now the total outside the splat is three and one half. So I know the total inside the splat is also three and one half. Now that I know the total inside the splat, I'm going to move the one fourth back into the splat. Now I know that the answer is one fourth more than three and one half. The answer is three and three fourths. It's time for the reveal. The answer to the question, what is the value under the splat is three and three fourths. Of course, there are many ways to think about three and three fourths. And one of those ways is to think of it as 15 fourths. Please know that this is not meant to be a complete list of solutions. There are many, many more ways to solve this fraction splat. As always, my advice is to lean into that very important question, how else could you know, and let your students amaze you with their ideas. By the way, if you could take a moment to subscribe and click the notification bell, you'll find out when new videos are posted. And the link to many, many free resources is in the description below. So if you want those free resources to use in your classroom, read the description, click on the link, and download the resources to use in your room. My name is Steve Wyborny. These are my eight answers to a fraction splat question, at least for now. If I see you at a conference or online, 
Ask me if I have any more to share, and I'll ask you the same. In fact, if you have some solutions to add, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.